Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angel. I am in the car just praising the Lord, thanking him for all the things that he's done for me, he's doing for me, the things that he will continue to do for me. Lord Jesus, may you do the same thing for everybody that watches this video. May they know you in the way that I've known you. May they see you in the way that I've seen you. May they hear you in the way that I've hear well, I've heard you, Lord Jesus. Show them them. You've shown me myself in such a way that I can't do nothing but elevate because that me, I know I can't be that me without you so if you're doing that if it's you in me and I'm doing it I can do anything all things are possible by you you've made me so strong you've given me such a hope and a love and I love this me that I'm growing into be and I thank you I thank you for my spiritual family that you've given to me they literally give me so much love from Jesus it's not them loving me it's Jesus loving me through them I feel it I need that I need that. I see that. I need that. And I'm so blessed that God knew I needed that. He gave it to me and it's mine. I'm never letting anything go. Yes to my friend Karen. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. God is good. More things are coming. More things are coming. More things are coming. My life is good. God is good. He's true to his word. If he's spoken something in your life, believe him. It might not look like it. It might not feel like it. But if God said it, it's that. Because I'm still waiting on mine, but it's close, bro. You should hear some of the stuff I hear on a daily. God knows me so much. He loves how I laugh. He loves how I talk to him. He loves my personality. He loves everything about me. He loves everything about me. The good, the bad, the ugly. And he talks me through my life. I'm not doing this by myself. I'm watching myself walk and I'm following behind myself. Like my spirit is so alive. It's awake and I can't wait to wake up everybody's spirit because the spirit is real. The flesh is real. Kill that flesh. Day what? This is day 16, 17, 8. I don't know, but hallelujah! Prophet Lovey, thank you. I know, I know, I know it was not easy for you to even come here and do this and believe, but your God said it and you did it and you've blessed so many people and the people that I touch, bro, what I build for God, what I build for God. And I thank you for that. You literally showed me God in the highest elevation level. Like it's not nothing to be played with. God is powerful. God is real and he'll come through a TV screen and manifest himself to you. How big is your faith this season of your life? I'm telling you, that's, that's the question you need to start. How big is my faith? Am I crazy enough to believe that God would really bless me like that? I'm crazy enough to believe that. I'm witnessing it. And I don't even have to do anything. My spiritual mother and my father are literally doing everything that God is showing me. So I'm thinking like, oh my God, I got to do all this stuff. They're doing it. I just got to give them my like brain and allow my... A collaboration between two generations two minds two different mindsets but one because it's the body of Christ being built for the glory of him and his kingdom his people I'm elevated I'm motivated I'm inspired I'm here to inspire you I'm here to inspire you be inspired today is the day that I am so inspired by God God is the coolest uh, and he loves me so good he loves me so good. He's literally, now that I've allowed him to, God has filled me up so whole that from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, I am submerged in his oil, his blood, his everything. Like there isn't a day in my life that is like, I'm talking about to the future. Me. There is not a day in my life that I'm not gonna walk around smiling, being blessed, blessing others, Allowing others to know the glory of God through my smile, man. I am such a light. People will literally see me at a get and go and be like staring at me. And I'm like, bro, did I have sex with you or something? Like, did I meet you on back page? Because why are you looking at me like that? He was like, no, there was this time I came into this store. You came in and you spoke to me and you literally brought light to my life. People literally tell me, me speaking to them brings light to their life. That can't be me, baby. 
that can't be me it gotta be God and I love that people remember me like of course like my, I, 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 I go to be remembered you have to remember me because you're gonna remember the presence of God because I'm gonna tell you it's God God loves you so much God loves you so much he loves you and I will show you how much he loves you I will literally get down on my knees in a Walmart and pray with you God speak to your daughter take my anointing and pour it on her right now in this moment be vulnerable be <laughs> I'm real ghetto when it comes to God. I don't care. When I was in these streets, I'm telling you, I was on tables shaking booty. I was drunk than a skunk. No one said nothing. I was pissing on myself, shitting on myself, bro. No one said nothing. So when I'm turning up for God, baby, don't say nothing unless you come to praise with me. That's the vibe. If you're not praising with me, don't speak on my life because God is blessing me. This is between me and God. Everything else is temporary. It's a bonus. It's a bonus. Friends are a bonus, but God is <laughs> forever. His love is forever, it's eternity. It's, I used to be an addict, but I wouldn't even say that about myself anymore because I don't have that desire, I don't have that craving, and I'm telling you, it's not me, baby. He's given me so much fullness, so much joy, so much of everything like that. I don't even think about that. I'm only thinking about what God said. If God didn't say it, I'm not thinking it. And if it's confusion and if it's chaos in my mind, it's not God. I bind that up. I take dominion over my mind, my body, because this is mine. God gave it to me, and I have authority over any demons, any principality. So, that being said, it's time to build. Keep building, Angel. I love this energy you're giving me today. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. There's more coming, child. There's more coming. Keep being blessed. Keep being blessed. Keep sharing the blessings. Don't hide what I do for you. Don't hide what I'm doing for you, Angel. Don't hide it. Don't hide it. Show everybody. Tell everybody because it's for you, for them. It's time. This is the season that everybody gets their doors open, their blessings, the blessings that they took from us. This is that season. How big is your faith? How big is your faith this season, bro? Like, I'm talking about blessed, 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 blessed families all around me. So many families just blessed, blessed. My family's that family. My family is that family and this sacrifice of like not speaking to everybody the way that I used to and being so dependent on people has definitely showed me that I need God. Because if I could intercede for everybody right now just sitting in my car praying for them, there's nothing that I could really do for anyone. But God can. But God can. So I'm literally not speaking to anyone in my family because God has instructed me that he needs my mind focused on him. Him downloading, him showing me, him allowing me to show me the potential of my mind. So not speaking to everybody is actually a sacrifice because I, I would love to share all this with you. But this is God always like, it's, it, you guys can't match my energy right now. And I can't have anybody dim in my light. My light, my light, this is my light. So I got to protect it because God gave it to me. And I can't share it with you if people are always dim in my light. My light is all I have. I never had like, I never had hope. I never had peace of mind. God has given me all of that and more. And more. He's given me a, like a, a, my husband. That's him. He's my husband. Like, I love that man. I see that man. I'm not with that man, but I'm with that man. I love that man. I would do anything for that man. And I can't wait to love the crap out of him. I'm going to love Nolan Russell Hamilton Allen so good that he's going to be like, God made this woman for me. I will worship you. Watch. Yeah, I'm talking about Banner. He gonna be out here worshiping the Lord Jesus with me because baby, this thing that God has did for me can't a woman match. <laughs> can't a woman match. Come on, I'm blessed. You gonna watch me be blessed? Me and your son? That's weird. <laughs> We're blessed. And I love him. And I, I love myself for admitting that to myself because the last time he was in jail, it was supposed to work out. When he got out, it was like, we had a plan and then it was just like all of a sudden I was gay and I had a girlfriend, so I went gay. And then I just couldn't leave her alone because I actually loved her and like I didn't want to hurt her feelings. So I just said, you know, like was pushing him to the side then I ended up hurting her. So then we weren't cool. That hurt my feelings. Like, and then to bring that up, thank you Jesus for that. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I'm so sorry that I even allowed myself to be be to hurt you and I knew where my mind was and where my heart was and I respect you so much for 
even coming into my life in such a broken, ugly place that I was in and giving me light. Like, it's because of your love for me that the reason that I had to go to God too, it was everybody that I've met in that craziness. Like, so many people, like, even Nolan's girlfriends, like, helping me with Elijah, that was a blessing because no one had to do that. You know, like, I'm appreciating every everything for what it is. You know, like, those women saved Elijah's life. At the point in where I was, like, I wasn't capable of taking care of him, but women stepped in, took my son, and it drove me crazy, absolutely crazy. I was just going crazy, but it gave me time to just sit with myself, sit with God a little longer, and let him, you know, marinate in me to see, like, you're not living up to your potential, Angel. The reason your life is so hard is because you were listening to me so wholeheartedly and now you're listening to yourself. I failed because I stopped listening to God. That failed because I stopped listening to God. I stopped listening to God. I can't do that to myself ever again. Because God does speak. During all that craziness, God was speaking to me. I just didn't know his voice. I didn't know it was him speaking to me. I didn't know. I know now. And I thank Jesus every day for just speaking to me. You didn't have to. That was my dark place and I was okay with being in it, you know? Like you get so used to being in your darkness that you like, I was okay with it. And then Jesus comes. This song. In the fire, time after time. And washed in his blood And what he did for me on Calvary Is more than love So I trust in God You must say And all is Okay, we're gonna end this video guys with a moment of silence because I want to just sit with myself a little longer Sit in the presence of God, 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 Mark God, He's so good He's a living, speaking, breathing, manifesting himself to his people, God <laughs> Get to know him, get to know him, even if it hurts Your story hurt, your life hurt so God hurting you, baby, after that hurting, after that crushing, after that breaking, it could only be beauty for ashes. <laughs> it could only be beauty for ashes because God wouldn't break you unless he planned on blessing you and giving you beauty for ashes. I'm living in my beauty, but I still know I'm nothing but ash. I'm nothing but dust. I came, I came from the ground. So at any moment, I have to always humble myself. The more, the more I have, it's like more humbling. Like, bro, God gave it to me. And yes, I have these things, but that doesn't exempt me from getting down on my knees, getting down on my face and praising God because God, he giveth and he can also take it away. So it's God for me. <laughs> and my man, my boy, my dog, my old man, my father, my friend. A ride or die. He died for me, so I'm riding, you know, like cruising down the street in my six fell. <laughs> I sought the Lord. A moment of silence, and we're starting now.
Bye guys until my next video.